why do people care about how PBC does its business so much? Let's talk. Straighter, yep, the, not yep. a roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about, the straight shot. It's exactly. the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull somebody back for a, a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as long you're trying to fight the great, you're, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Mary, you alive. I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Mary, you alive. I'm prepared to. If you ain't with the mono, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you hear, you gotta die. Spitting straight facts. These bitches cry cause they hate that. The LDBC's the top topic, bitch, hate that. Be the best to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link, get the bands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. So, the PBC model. Fighters promote themselves. Fighters get a small upfront check, a small guarantee, and then off of the promoting of themselves and the fight, they get a bigger back end bag. The upfront check is a million, maybe two, which is a lot of money to someone like me, but to fighters who are making millions. You know, it's really not that big of a deal. It's more of a of a insurance. Insurance that you're going to get paid regardless if you sell the fight or not. Right? You're going to get some bread. Whether you sell this fight, whether you promote the fight, whether you're out here doing whatever, you're going to get paid. All right? Now, how much more you get paid is all up to you. It's all up to you. If you go out there and you get online, you promote these fights, you call, you say things, you call people out, um, you, you talk your shit, um, you go on these YouTube pages and you talk your shit, um, you go to these um, old media and, and you talk to old media, you talk to um, the LDBC or whoever, you know, whoever you're talking to, to put your name out there, your fight out there. All that does is boost revenue for you on the back end. That's all it does. PBC is the only one that does this. All right. Everybody else, their um, model is totally different. Totally different. Majority of them, they get a split of whatever the network is putting out. If the network says, hey, this fight is worth $10 million to me. Well, there you go. You have a split between you, the fighters, everybody on the card of $10 million. Now, if it makes $30 million, you don't see any of that. And if you do see some of it, it's a very small amount. It's a very small amount. And that's how old uh, media, that's how um, the old way of working was perfect. That's why Bob Arum is worth $300 million. That's how Eddie Hearn and, and Barry Hearn are worth damn near a billion. That's how all these guys, Rat Eyes, all these guys, that's how all of them got their bread, to include Don King. Don King was the, um, sort of the, he was the, the pioneer, you know, of a lot of this shit, but um, he, he actually gave us fights that we wanted to see, so it worked out in his favor. It worked out for him without watering the sport down. When Don King ain't doing it, uh, Bob Ehrman, all, all these guys are doing the same thing that Don King was doing. They're just watering it down. Now they're they're using the same exact format, but they're squeezing the juices even more. They're squeezing the juices even more. The same format. The network say, oh, this fight isn't 
we don't really think this is worth much. We will $5 million. And then everything that's made from all the talking and all the boosting and promoting, everything that's made because this is the social media era. And in the social media era, fighters are going to get on social media and talk they shit. Right? Promoters don't got to promote nothing. They just got the title of promoter. So they talking they shit. Um, they boosting up the sales of the fight. So they got their little one million, million and a half. And then after the fight's over with, you know, the, the networks put up five million. It made 20 million. The networks got back seven. And here we are with all this excess bread. Here's all this excess bread, right? So they, they put up five. The networks got back seven. It made 20. All right, well, that's 12 million because the seven, the, uh, the, the, out of the 20, minus, minus the five that you paid the fighters and everybody else, minus the seven that you took out of that and gave back to the networks, that's $8 million left over. Of the $8 million that's split between whoever the fuck, the sanctioning bodies, Fucking Mauricio Suleiman, Gilberto Mendoza's peoples, uh, uh, whoever the fuck else, the 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 promoters bust that bread bread up amongst themselves. The the managers get a little piece because they was able to finagle the bagel to 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 to, to talk their fighter into fighting. Yeah, like, oh man, it's gonna be a great one right here because you know we were after we get this one, the next one we got you, we got you next one, the next one here, but you gotta take this one right now and the next one. Yeah, the, all that fluff, talking your fighters into shit, get your fighters all gassed up so they take a fight, they make a half a million dollars, and the fight makes 20 million, but they only make a half a million, and, and the, the manager gets uh, paid, the promoters get paid, and then the networks and all, all everybody's getting bagged except for the fighters. Yeah, well, well, if everybody's content with that way of living, right, if everybody's content with that model, then anything that fucks that model up, you're mad at. Bro, if, the, if all you have to do as a promoter, as a manager, is talk your fighter into fighting somebody, and you make more than your fighter is making, bro, you're living a good life, bro. Yeah, you're, not, you're getting a check from the networks. You're getting a check from the motherfuckers that you guys are doing backdoor dealings with, right? The other manager or other promoter that y'all doing backdoor dealings with, you're getting a check, a cut from that, right? Y'all getting y'all cut, y'all y'all split of if the fight makes more than this, then we're gonna split that, right? And then you get paid from the fighter. You get your percentage of money from the fighter. You're getting you're getting the three p. The fighter makes half a million dollars and then pays you whatever percentage that they pay you that they pay their manager and they pay their promoter. They pay you whatever percentage that is. Yeah, well, you know, if I was. Um, Eddie Hearn, motherfucking Bob Arum, Rad Eyes, uh, any one of these motherfuckers, if I was them, I wouldn't want PBC either. I wouldn't want it either. You're fucking up my money. <laughs> yeah, you're all in my pockets now. Yeah, I'm not getting just my uh, 3% or whatever the fuck managers get and promoters get. And, uh, no, I'm not. I'm not. Listen, bro, you're, you're taking money out of my... Now, normally I get that from the fighters, but I'm, I'm getting other bread because I'm in the meeting with the networks. Yeah, I see the full number that's going on here. I know what, what we have to pay back. I know what all this shit is. You're taking money from me. Well, the PBC model does exactly that. And that's the reason why everybody hates him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the reason why Golden Boy hates him, Bob Arum hates him, BT, Matchroom, all those guys. That's why they hate PBC, because of the model. That's why they're talking about, oh, man, they're overpaying these guys. These guys are getting overpaid. How the fuck can you overpay somebody? How do, you, how do you overpay a fighter who is putting their life on the line? So you're, te you're literally telling fighters that your life is only worth this amount of money. That's it. So you go in there, you get into a fight and die in the ring. You're essentially saying your death was only worth this amount. The PBC removed that. They remove that. The PBC says, we're going to guarantee you some, ec we're, we'll get, let's say we get $5 million from the network. That's what we get. 
of that five million, we're going to guarantee you, you know what I'm saying? Because everybody's going to get their, everybody's going to get their split. And, and I do believe, I, I don't know this for a fact, but I believe that the Don King type of thing still goes on, but it only goes on with the front end bread and not the back end bread. Because it, it would make sense that it goes on with the front end bread, right? Here's five million networks willing to put up. Everybody's getting their cuts. Everybody's getting their whatever. There are probably some, not to say PBC is perfect, but the model, the model is better than all the other ones, right? So they're probably getting their cuts, but their cuts are smaller. So if you make a lot of money on the back end, you're getting a lot more money than what you would get with other fighters, with other um, promotional companies. Because they're not promoting you anyway. <laughs> they're not, no promotional company is promoting you, none. You are promoting yourself. This is a social media era. All these fighters have um, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, Snapchat, all these other type of, they all have them. They all have their following. They all have their fan base. They promote themselves. The promoters do not promote nothing. They just attach their name to them as a promoter and get paid. They do not promote anything. But the PBC model gives the fighters bigger bags on the back end than the front end. And the back end is the unknown. It's the unknown. The front end says, this is what I believe this fight is worth. But the back end says, this is what the fans believe it was worth. You understand what I'm saying? The fans, if the fans believe this fight is worth X, then the fans, uh, if you believe, if the networks believe the fight is worth y, X, and the fans believe the fight is worth Y, right? And the networks give you X, and the fans give you Y. Well, there's more fans than networks. So you're going to make more from the fans than the networks. That's simple math and common sense, but it's up to the fighters to make the fans want to give them Y, right? Because a network is just giving you X. Whatever X is, that's what the network is giving you. But it's up to the fighters, for the, for the fighters to entice the fans to give them Y. So the X from the network could be $10 million, but the Y from the fans could be a billion Look at Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. They gave, the networks believed the fight was worth X. The fans gave them Y. That ended up being the highest grossing fight in the history of boxing and still is to this day. Floyd Mayweather damn near made half a billion dollars. The networks gave him 100 million. They gave Pacquiao 80 million. The fans gave him damn near 400 million. Yeah, the PBC model says that if you have a good fan base, your Y will be bigger than your X. Your Y from the fans will drive your X from the networks. That's the PBC model, which means that you can keep pushing your numbers up. If you're consistently showing growth, you can push your numbers up from the networks. Right. You can make your upfront money bigger from the networks because your why the fan base is pushing your numbers up, is pushing your X up. You are literally forcing the networks to compete with the fans to get a bigger bag. That's the PVC model. And that competition with the networks, the fans of the network is what Golden Boy, DAZN, Matchroom, what all those don't want, that competition. Because that competition only gives fighters bigger bags. That competition, right? It, using the PBC model. If that, that same competition gives the promoters, the managers, the sanctioning bodies, the, the, the sanctioning presidents, it gives them a bigger bag using the, the Sky, the BT, the Matchroom, the DAZN, the top ranking Golden Boy, all those, that, that competition between X and Y, between the, 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 the networks and the fans, that gives Bob Arums of the world a bigger bag. 
using that old that old style they get a bigger bag that's why they that's why they sued the man that's why they um go and uh, dis always disrespect them that's the reason why because in the pbc model the x and y competition between the networks and the fans drives up the fighters bag it drives their bag because now okay what well, the network says before your fights were five now they're worth 10. so what we'll do is instead of giving you one million we'll give you two million guaranteed up front and then your back end bread is even bigger so now it's like, oh shit, well, you made X, you made that. All right, well, now we think this fight, instead of it was worth five, then you went to 10. We believe now it's worth 20. So now you're up front, now is, is 4 million guaranteed. And then you're back, it just it, the competition on the PBC model drives the purses for the fighters. The competition, because there's always going to be competition between the networks and the fans, but the competition on the any, all the other networks drives the bag for the promoters, the managers, the fucking sanctioning bodies. All of them get bigger bags. All of them get bigger bags using that. So, so it's a it's a, a a common sense thing. If the rich, if their pockets are getting touched, then they're going to go against it. All they got to do is turn stupid motherfuckers on their side. Look at Donald Trump. He got all these stupid motherfuckers on his side. Oh, Donald Trump, save us. We, we, we can't stand Obamacare. We just fucking hate Obamacare. Please get rid of it. Don't get rid of the Affordable Care Act, though. We love the Affordable Care Act, but please get rid of Obamacare. Because they're fucking idiots. It's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, so, so these rich motherfuckers over here with... The, the 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 ESPNs and the top ranks and the fucking the the the, the zones and the motherfucking match rooms and the golden boys and the skies and the BTs the rich motherfuckers over there do not want that PBC model fuck that it takes money out of their pockets yeah it takes money out of their pocket it's not hard this isn't hard that's why a majority of the fighters fight over there when the fighters are leaving from over there, shout out to my, my homie, champ, big shot, Stephen Shaw. When they're leaving, it's because they're not getting fights, right? They're not getting fights. So it's like, fuck it. I'll, I'll just take my chance over here. At least I'll get a fight over here. But over there, they're not getting fight. But that's the only issue why motherfuckers leave because they, they didn't get a fight. It just has nothing to do with the bag. Over there, it's like, bro. A motherfucker has to want to fight me. If you don't want to fight me, then I, I guess I ain't getting no fucking fights, bro. And when you are a fucking threat with no name, it's kind of hard to get a fight. Shout out to my nigga Big Shot Stephen Shaw again. Because he's a fucking threat. And it's kind of hard to get a fight when you're a fucking threat. When all of them other motherfuckers are trying to get up to where they're at. And, and that's the second part about um, the PBC model that's a good and a bad. Right? Because the matchmakers over there are saying... Okay, who do you want to fight? It's super simple. Who do you want to fight? You want this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. All right, so then I go to all the other guys. Who do you want to fight? And they say who they want to fight. So everybody knows who everybody wants to fight. But if your name isn't called, nigga, you're ass out. Again, big shot, Stephen Shaw. Because he's that good. It wasn't, didn't nobody want to fight that man. Which is why he was always ass out. You know what I'm saying? But... If, if if I if the names match up, if hey, um, you want to fight this guy, this guy, and this guy, and this guy, and then that guy that they ask wants to fight one of those four, well, shit. If this guy wants to fight, well, well we in the, we we good, we are good to go. All right, well, let's see what the then I take this guy who wants to fight this guy, and I go to the networks and I say, hey, how much do you think this fight is worth? They give us a number. All right, bet. Here's a number. And I can take this number back to the fighters and say, hey, you guys want to fight each other. This is the number I got for the, for the fight. Do y'all want to do it or not? And, then, and there, we either have a fight or we don't. It's a super simple process. It's not like that with these other networks. With these, uh, No, they have literally their matchmakers say, oh, hell no. I ain't putting this motherfucker that. Nah, I ain't putting that one with this one. But I will, that's why they always say, well, you know, I'll fight whoever they put in front of me. I fight whoever they put in front of me. Yeah, because they just, not to say that the other motherfuckers don't have matchmakers. But the matchmakers on all these other sides literally make the fights. They literally make them. That You don't have a say. They make your fights. That's why you always hear them saying, I will fight who they put in front of me. 
Not difficult. It's not hard. All it, all it requires for you to do is do your fucking research. If you do your research, you'll come up to the same conclusion that I just did. But it is what it is. Motherfuckers are going to hate anyway, and they're hating on the PBC model and don't even know why they're hating. They have no fucking idea. Out here talking about Al Heyman needs to make this and Al Heyman needs to make that and Al Heyman needs to make that. Al Heyman don't force these guys to fight each other. That's just something that y'all just say. Whatever. Y'all know what it is. Y'all just don't like it because it goes against whatever fighter you're rocking with. Whatever fighter you're rocking with, um, you know it goes against it. So, you, uh, well, or it, it, it goes, uh, uh, it, it's in line with it. But it, but it's gonna make them look bad. So now, oh no, nope, that fuck Al Heyman so on some shit when you've never heard the man speak. Oh man, PBC is garbage, man. Hey, fucked up over there. PBC doing all that, blah blah blah. But then you'll look and say, well, damn, they're all fighting each other. So if they're all fighting each other, then that means somebody must have asked somebody, do you really want? Do you want to fight this man? Do you want to fight that man? And they said yes. Yeah, they, they said yes. Keith Thurman said he wanted to fight Danny Garcia. Danny Garcia said he wanted to fight Keith Thurman. They made the fight. Keith Thurman said he wanted to fight Sean Porter. Sean Porter said he wanted to fight Keith Thurman. They made the fight. Errol Spence said he wanted to fight Danny Garcia and, Ter and Sean Porter. Sean Porter and Danny Garcia said they wanted to fight Errol Spence. They made the fight. Errol Spence said he wanted to fight Keith Thurman. Keith Thurman said he don't want to fight Errol Spence. They didn't make the fight. It's not hard. It's not hard, bro. It's not hard at all. You guys just make it hard. Because, like I said, it goes against the narrative that you guys want to push. But the reality is right in front of your face. BFTB. Shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC. And I'm out.